Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this short video, I'm going to show you with a few cameras that I have on the table here with me. If you have a look at this, it's quite a few actually. <laughs> Bang. Um, how easy it is to find your autofocus modes. So not focus areas, rather the focus modes. So if you read the blog on my focus mode versus focus area, you'll understand exactly why we're only delving into focus modes. So let's jump straight into it. Right, so let's start off with some old school gear, being your DSLR, your Canon 5D Mark IV. I used to love this camera before I moved to Olympus. I owned one myself. Now, to find your autofocus modes, it is very, very straightforward. On your information screen on the back here, which you'll toggle through to get your various different screens, you just tap information. What you just need to do is tap Q to activate your quick menu. And seeing that this is touch screen, I can go tap on AI Servo, and you can then jump between these three modes. So very quick and very easy to run through this and to find it. Now, if you're only watching this video and you didn't find this video on the blog that I wrote regarding the differences between autofocus modes and autofocus areas, I highly recommend you go read the blog on the Wild Eye website. The blog's name is focus modes versus focus area. And then in that blog, I also uh, explain and go into depth as to what the differences are between all these focus modes. So I hit tapping Q, tapping that, and I will then explain the differences and the best possible times to use all of these. In my opinion, uh, server is the way to go, especially if you're shooting back button focus. That's where you want to stay. Now moving on to some newer technology. This is your Canon R6. So one of their mirrorless ranges. So putting that on. Again, very similar to your old school DSLR. On the back screen, all you'd need to do is tap your Q button for quick menu. And then within this, you can go move around and or activate with a touch screen. And once I've activated that, because obviously I know AI Servo is where we want to, to be, you then use this back dial to jump between one shot and AI Servo. And in this newer technology, you'll realize that there are only two options. There's no AI focus. Reason being is, in my opinion, and obviously in Canon's as well, it's pretty pointless. You don't need it. So if you can read the blog, you'll understand exactly why I say so. So pretty straightforward on the Canon system. Just tap your Q for quick menu. Ensure that your focus area within the quick menu is highlighted and then you can use this back dial up here to toggle between which one you would like to make use of. So pretty cool, pretty easy, and not too much to understand. Looking at your Nikon range, so this is a Nikon D850. And again, your old school um, DSLR system. So I've powered the camera on. I'm going to tap the information screen so we can see what's happening back here. So, unfortunately, with um, or oh, the shortcut key to Nikon is, let me just activate that again. On the left-hand side of the camera, you will see a button and a toggle over here. This will take you between manual focus, autofocus in your camera's brain. Obviously on the lens itself, um, you can flick between auto and manual focus. But that's not why we're here and doing this video. So on the left hand side of the camera, you've got this toggle, but that's not relevant for this. But at this toggle, there is also a little button that you can depress. So now if I go back to the back screen, hit information, and I'm now gonna push down that button on the left, you'll see how that menu now pops up. And then you just follow the prompts. So the front dial is gonna change focus area. The back dial will change your focus mode. 
So if I flick that black dial, autofocus single shot, autofocus continuous. So you can see even in this old school setup of Nikons, they've gotten rid of AI focus. It is not necessary. They've only got single shot there and continuous focus there. Single focus, autofocus. So depress that side button and follow the prompts. Cool. Now very, very privileged. I just need to handle this with extreme care. I've been very lucky and extremely privileged that Luke Street has let me even just look at the Z9. So this is Nikon's newest baby. And power that on. That's the back screen. Really neat little camera, but it is a Nikon. Um, but pretty much the same setup as the old school style. So that side button, it doesn't have that switch to toggle between auto and manual focus in terms of your camera's brain, but it still has this little button. So now when I depress that, you'll see currently, you'll see MF at the top there, just because there's no lens on this camera, so it's going to manually focus, or it's not picking up any information from a lens. Um, but if I now go and depress that button on the left of the camera, you will see that these have now been highlighted yellow. And you see that. Let go, goes back to MF. Depress it, goes down to yellow. Now using the back dial again, over here, you can see it flicking between manual focus, autofocus single, autofocus continuous. So pretty much the exact same setup as the old school DSLR just by depressing this uh, little side button over here. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate that. Okay. Moving on to an Olympus setup. <laughs> I forgot my camera at home this morning. I woke up at about half past four to get into office early, and uh, early morning brain can forget one or two things. But for those of you shooting Olympus, I'm happy to be a part of the family. I love my camera, absolutely love it. Now this ain't my camera, this is one that Jerry uses, so fortunately, thanks Jerry for having this in office. Uh, but you'll see on the top left over here, it's got a little kind of quick menu home button. So if I now go and push that, look at what happens to the screen on the back of camera. Push it again, push it again, push it again. Pretty cool. Now, my button, my quick menu button or home button, this little guy over here, sits on the top left of my camera over here somewhere. So depending on your model of Olympus camera, could just be sitting in a different place. This one is on the top left. So if I push that, this menu pops up. Now, Olympus is also touch screen, so if you can move around, which is pretty cool. It's now taking us into that. But if I go on to double tap onto that, you can then go switch between single focus using this back dial, or just touching the screen, no, it doesn't work there, but we've got single autofocus, continuous autofocus, manual focus, single autofocus with manual focus, so kind of like a hybrid. And then we've got autofocus with tracking, continuous autofocus with tracking. Now a lot of your newer technology, your mirrorless systems, have continuous focus with tracking activated as well, where it picks up on certain subjects, which is really, really cool. So all the systems are pretty similar in terms of the setup and finding your focus modes. Um, oh, and I suppose, this camera brand also um, deserves a mention, I'd say. Sony. Right, putting that on, hitting that FN button, takes you into, again, a quick menu. You flick around, you'll see it's currently sitting on autofocus continuous. If you go into that, you can roll this back dial to jump through in between all your settings, a single shot, automatic AF, wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend, uh, yeah, this, autofocus continuous, 
dynamic manual focus and a manual focus. But yeah, pretty straightforward and easy to navigate. Now, I hope that has helped you guys somewhat. Um, and like I said, if you did not read the blog and you only saw this video uh, on YouTube and you're still not sure what the differences are between focus modes and focus areas, they're two very different elements to your photography, but equally as important in order to capture great and sharp photographs. So if you have not yet, I'd highly recommend go read that blog on the Wild Eye website. The blog's name is, you can search it in the search bar, is focus modes versus focus area. And I'm pretty sure it'll help you. So if you're new to photography and this, you've read the blog, you've watched this video, and you're still not sure what is going on, we're always happy to help here at Wild Eye. So feel free to reach out and we'll happily assist you. Anyway, have a great one and chat soon. Bye.